Hello, this is part three of the WordPress tutorial video for FIU alumni. How to show you how to um, update content. In the first two videos, we covered on how to change elements on the header and footer and homepage and blog. And the second part, we covered how to make edits to pages, simple pages and complex pages. And now in this video, we're going to talk about dynamic pages. And uh, an example of a dynamic page here would be the Panther Getaways. Which contains um, different travel packages. And uh, the way you can add the travel packages is if you go to the dashboard and you go to here to travel, it's called Travel Programs. And just click on that and you can see all the travel programs that are there now and if you open one up you can see what it looks like and basically all it is is a, a title the main content of the program and a featured image and there's some fields here where the subheading dates and the book URL number and if it's sold out or not bookable or sold out and uh, so if you wanted to create a new one, all you would do is add new. And you just fill in the information, title, content, feature, and these fields, and uh, publish. And you'll have a new item that will appear on this page. Um, the forms are done through a plugin through Wufoo Forms. And uh, another page that's also dynamic is the chapters page. And those are chapters that appear in, in these areas. So the way you would add a new chapter if, is if you go to here, chapters. And you can see all the chapters that are already there. If you open one up, you can see what it looks like. And then you can select which category they fall in once you fill in the content and the title. Um, put in their category and other information about the chapter, all these fields. And just click Save or Update and uh, the chapter will appear where you need it or you can make edits to the existing chapter and just hit update and the edits will be made. You can change your contact information or any type of uh, link you like, information you like. And um, another thing you can edit here dynamically uh, that works dynamically is events. This section here, events, is just a the little intros to the events that are located over here. You go to the events page, engage events. You will see in signature events, these little intros for each event. And that is what these are over here. So if you wanted to add a new one or change an existing one, you can just open one or add new and change the content, change the picture and change the link. So that's how you would do those. Bios are here. Bios are for when uh, we have award winners and uh, which are not reflected currently but they will be um, here. If you click on bios you'll see if you open one up you can see the title, the name of the person, their bio, their picture, and there's uh, some categories here with the uh, award that they won. So these are basically all award winners. And um, there's some other miscellaneous fields here that you can fill out. So if you wanted to preview this, just like any other thing, a page or post, anything, you can hit this preview changes. And that'll take you to the front end. And you'll see um, this person's bio. And you can also, um, this is basically what come from Torch Awards. You can 
particular this one. So that's bios, and there's also team, which uh, you can enter team members, which appear on one of the, our pages here. And if you click on that, you'll see um, how the team members were added. And if you just open one up, it's very simple. It has a person's name and what their um, group or title is. And the groups are here. You can always add a, a new group under team. Um, you can just title it, add a new category, and it'll end up there. And uh, once you fill in their links and information, you can hit update and um, it'll be saved. And that is all for this video. In the next video, we'll talk about awards and those pages like Torch Awards and so forth. Thank you.